everybody, welcome to Cloud Investing YouTube channel. Today, what I'll be continuing to do is uh, to continue my series of uh, lessons that I intend to showcase through this YouTube channel. So today is lesson two, which I'll be talking on focus investing. So before I continue, please hit the subscribe button and like this video so that YouTube can share this video to more people. So before I start, I'd like to explain that um, this series of lessons is not, I will not be recommending a certain specific methods for you to invest such as growth investing or value investing. Be what I want to focus on is factors that, uh, that you may have neglected through, through, the, through your investing journey. So without further ado, let's go to what I'm going to talk about today, which is lesson two, focus investing. <laughs> So I had a similar idea in my blog previously where I wrote about this theory called Big Ideas Investing Theory where I, where I recommend to uh, invest only in a handful to invest a huge part of your portfolio only in a handful of companies right however over the years I tried I can't really reach I haven't reached that uh, that, that godlike figure that I, I like you know like maybe invest in only 10 companies in your whole portfolio so i actually divided my portfolio into two parts where in the total i invest in about 20 port 20 companies at, but in two different portfolios um, which i'll explain how the two different portfolios work uh, at the end of the video so this idea of focus investing actually surfaced again for when i was going through an editorial for investor place talking about 5g so um, they actually recommended that uh, you build your portfolio with, with a focus on a team uh, and you only invest in a few companies and each of these companies should be in different sort of like a different segment within that enlarged uh, team and uh, it should be focused, it should be equal weightage. So let me go through again. One, uh, it has, should have a team. Two, Within this team, you only invest in a handful of company. Three, these companies that's in the portfolio should be in different industry. Four, uh, they should have equal weightage. So I actually, after looking through all this uh, theory, uh, this focus investing theory, right? I actually add on a fifth factor, which is sub criteria that you will have when you actually uh, review through all these companies within the team. So for me, I talk a lot in my Telegram group that uh, my team is actually 5G, IoT, and connected cars. So it actually came from 5G. And if you look through my YouTube channel, I, I've actually talked significantly about 5G. So with that, that's, the, that's one of my team for, for one of my portfolio. So how does having a team helps? In the spectrum of investing, there are so many companies in it, right? In US, there's only seven over seven thousand plus companies. In Hong Kong, I'm not too sure about if I'm not wrong, it's about two to three thousand plus. In Singapore, there's about seven hundred companies. So there are so many choices to make. So how should one make uh, make the choices right? It it can be deemed so with a team, right? It actually helps for you to make a certain choices, and it it actually gives you it actually starts from a macro view as you, as you have to see what is going to happen in the future. So some of the team, if you have the team that is uh, go around value investing, right? It, it actually, there's no macro view. So there could be more companies that fit into your this uh, value investing theory where, where uh, maybe uh, if the price is less than the net current asset value, for example. So with that, right? Uh, how the focus investing will allow you to maybe uh, narrow down the companies significantly and with a macro view on it. This macro view should also have a timeline, right? Expected timeline. This macro, for example, for 5G, I my expected timeline is about three to five years where everything will start uh, start to be realized. And you, this will minimize the number of companies you look at. So this will actually help you build your portfolio uh, in a faster and faster as well. So what are the other benefits of focus investing? 
So when you when you look at a team, you start to select your company, you start to realize that uh, for a certain type of uh, businesses in this team, right, there's more competition. When you start selecting on a on a very basic level of of the of all the companies that you want to watch this, you you will start to realize where are the pocket of opportunities and who are the leaders within a selected uh, industry within that team. So in this way, it actually helps you to narrow down further what are the company that you can watch this. You you will shortlist upon. After looking through the benefits of focus investing, maybe you should look at what are the risks. Right? So the risk of focus investing is actually you generalize a company that fits into a certain team or you forcefully ideal, idealize the company to fit into that particular team. Uh, that is a important factor because uh, you within a short time you have to categorize a company uh, into a selected team or an industry and they are definitely end up you will definitely end up uh, picking certain words such as uh, if I look at 5G right if anything that's IoT I will, I will select it as well right so uh, it becomes like you generalize the company um, into to fit into that team however as you I, I feel that as you look into more and more company you will be able to assess which company are the better ones and which company are, are so called um, after you shortlist right you still have doubts about it so you will that's where you dip deeper dig deeper into the companies and then you start to even reduce the company that you shortlist in addition to generalize a company right you could also miss up a big opportunity so that is another risk that uh, i think one should know as well so to conclude the steps are you go to the exchange website and screen accordingly to their segmentation in their sector so you're looking for technology go to technology if you're looking for communication company go to communication and then after that add in some sub criteria such as a gross margin or, or a basic criteria um, so that you can sieve out uh, more companies sieve out more companies and then after that um, you should look at their website individually and conclude whether uh, which one which areas are you really interested in and then you can start to narrow down your your list of companies but as you look at more website you realize that competition heats up within a particular sector so in 5g right there's a lot of companies that are doing hardware software integration so this is actually very competitive and if there's a lot of small caps uh, meet that's already doing this right that means uh, the competition is so strong that you know it's very hard for for this small cap to break out of their league and after that right read the transcript read the annual reports understand what the company is doing uh, and following that um, really basically really drawing the numbers everything on an overall basis see which company you are really interested in so that's how I did it for my focus investing uh, team theory uh, this portfolio um, so before I I end this video right, I want to explain why I have two portfolios so the two portfolios if you go to my um, video in, in lesson one I talked about having a goal having uh, different timelines right so these two portfolio actually have different goals and different timelines right one is 10 years one is for three to five years so um, the 5g portfolio is actually the, the one for three to five years right where I expect the gain the gains to come in near the third year of the portfolio and if it's extended it could go into the fourth year right so that's how I, I built this portfolio to be right the 10 years portfolio is actually a core position a base of historical company that I had and then um, with additional built-in growth in healthcare uh, companies right? so um, with that uh, that's the end of this video please like this video subscribe to our channel and uh, thanks for your support bye